All right. Hope y'all ready for this. You've been asking for it. It's part two. The entire 4K collection. Over 192 different films. Grab your popcorn. Take a seat. It's going to be a long one. Let's go. 4K fam, what's good? It's your boy 4K D-Ray bringing you another video. You guys, this is part two of my entire 4K Blu-ray collection. If you're new to the channel, please go back and watch the first part of this video. This is a continuation on from that. It's been well over a year since that last video. So we got a lot to dig into. You guys, it took me so long to make this video because... It's going to take a minute to get through this. Like I said in the beginning, this is about 190 different films. You'll notice now it's probably about 195 different films, but 190 cases because some of the cases contain more than one movie. Just depends on the franchise. You guys know what I mean, but nonetheless, let's get it going because this is going to take some time. This is in no particular order. I do not separate by like steel book, uh, slip covers, non-slips. Uh, I don't alphabetize nothing. It just goes up on a shelf and I keep the shelves running all the way down. So you'll notice towards the end of the video, it's more recent releases because I just fill up as, as fill in as the shelf fills up. But nonetheless, man, let's get into it. Uh, this number one is gonna be Pacific Rim Uprising. I'm not gonna get into any details on anything. Up next, Sicario, part one. And we got Sicario, Day of the Dead. Christopher Nolan film, Interstellar. This is in the top favorites. Um, you guys let me know if you want me to do another top favorite uh, 4K films. I'll get that going. Up next, Angry Birds the movie. Uh, very good release when you want to you know, reference quality to bring that color out. Good film to pick up. This one was a sleeper to me, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. I didn't know how good it was going to be, but it turned out to be actually pretty good. Um, here comes a guilty pleasure, Smurfs. Very good quality 4K transfer on this one. If you ain't got it, go ahead and pick it up. Keeping it rolling. Another one of my favorite comic book adaptations. Straight to live film. Kick ass. Still waiting on part two, man. They got to give it to us. I know it wasn't the best film. This one was way better. But if you give us part one on 4K, might as well give us part two. Next, we got John Wick part one man this one hit me by surprise didn't know much about it remember the trailers but i didn't hear anybody say they went to go see it then i started hearing more and more people talk about it and then migo started made a uh, song out of it so it was it was only right that i picked that one up up next of course it's gonna be john wick part two very good uh 4k transfer on that one up next comes a really great 4k it's on top it's probably in people's a lot of people's top 10 but nonetheless man scarlett johansson lucy get it in your collection man there's some great colors that pop in that film next we got the dark tower it was idris elba matthew mcconaughey pretty decent film now y'all know i don't buy too many of these but up next another uh animated film and sing i believe my wife really wanted that one so i had to pick it up for her coming up next sci-fi valerian Get it in your collection. Really nice slip cover. You see the uh, hue of colors popping. Another animated film coming up. Ain't too many in my collection, but I got a few. I had to get this one because of the Adobe Vision. Got Cars 3. Very, another very nice slip cover. When you move it side to side, you see all those nice little colors popping in and out of that slip case. Coming up next, Batman and Robin. One of my favorite all-time uh, cartoons turned into a movie. I was so excited when this first came out. I remember going to see the midnight release with the whole family. You got Transformers 4K. Here goes one of those films. I told y'all why it's going to be 195 uh, different films, but probably about 190 cases. But you got the Purge 3 movie collection. I haven't even watched these yet. I think I've only seen part one out of the Purge. Coming up next, Dwayne Johnson's Rampage video game to film type movie and we got Kingsman which one is this the golden circle another film sci-fi film that I absolutely love once I finally watched it. it took me a minute to get get a chance to sit down and watch this one one day I was just like yo let me make sure I watch something that I ain't seen before instead of putting in something that I don't replayed over and over like Infinity War up next Tomb Raider uh, it ain't Angelina Jolie, but it was still fun film to watch. So I would say pick it up if you can find it for a really good price. 
Coming up next, time to get into some Marvel. We got Captain Marvel, another nice slip cover, uh, highly embossed too. Man, they did a thing with that one. Uh, the good thing about this one, Gene got all these characters uh, just plastered all over the slip cover. I'm tired of seeing that. Anyway, let's keep it moving. One of my all-time favorite films, Russell Crowe and Gladiator. This was another really good transfer. If you ain't got that, definitely go ahead and pick it up. Uh, the creme de la creme of uh, war movies coming up next. Saving Private Ryan. Man, if you ain't picked this up on day one, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Another war film. Keep it rolling. One of my uh, favorite genres, war, horror, and thriller. It's Fury. The sound on that is incredible. Yo, I still haven't watched this movie, but coming up next, we got Ready Player One. I know my kids watched it quite a few times, but I just sat and watched it a little bit. I haven't watched it all the way through, so definitely got to give that one a run probably tomorrow. Another film that I haven't watched, but y'all already know I'm not into, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but we got Solo, Star Wars Story, or whatever it's called. Actually, kind of, this is highly embossed too, so it's a pretty cool slip. Coming up next, we got Cone Skull Island. This is something I just really had to have in my collection. Plus, one of the uh, my classmates from school is actually in this film, so definitely had to pick that up. Shout out uh, Westover High School down there in Fayetteville. Another war film. Hey, reference quality. Get it. I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't have Hacksaw Ridge, it's a really good movie, but the, the quality, whoo, whoo, boy. And coming up next, we got one of the best comic book movies to date probably in my top out definitely in top five might be in top three but who logan boy they did their thing with this one especially with x23 and that uh whoo, whoo, love that film uh this one coming up next dc film y'all already know hit and miss not too many dc films i like this one was okay it was pretty cool but we got shazam uh i don't even know if i watched that again now the war film, I told y'all, man, I love war films. Zero Dark Thirty. It's another good uh, transfer to put into you. This movie right here coming up next. Man, man, oh man, I can't wait for part two. We got A Quiet Shh, A Quiet Place. Whew, let's keep it rolling. Y'all see that stack getting big over there. War films, I love them. 13 hours, Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Look like we might be going to war again pretty soon, fellas. Y'all pay attention to the story, man. I, I swear, like, some of the stuff they said, talking about is happening, we've seen happen in some of these uh these movies, so it's like it's coming out of life. Coming up next, animated films, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I'm gonna tell y'all, a lot of people really, really hyped this up. I thought it was okay. It was cool, it was, it was different, but I didn't like it as much as many people said. Coming up next, um, like I said, I love Transformers, but this one right here, you can kind of miss me with this joint. But, I mean, the visuals was cool, but uh, last night, Transformers. Another movie that I need to watch because I love space and space exploration and all that good stuff. Uh, we got First Man. Still haven't watched that. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Backlog getting real long if y'all ain't noticed. Coming up next, man, uh, it's, it's, ooh, this one started it all. Boy, I remember going to see this, getting out of the movie theater, and just ready to hit the gas pedal. We got Fast and the Furious, the original. Man, you can't go wrong with that one. If you ain't got that one on first day, I don't know what you're doing with your life. A little controversy right here. I actually liked it, but we got Batman versus Superman. Uh, it's like the Freddy versus Jason of the comic book uh, universe. You either love it or you really hate it really really hate it coming up next hey this one surprised me shout out to i believe it was chris morrow that told me to pick this one up native 4k and man oh man does it look great and it's not a bad film i thought it was gonna be something kind of trash but it turned out being pretty good uh disaster flick i picked this up because i just thought that you know the quality was gonna be really really good and it's got some explosions but it's got dwayne the rock johnson so how can you go wrong Whew, let's keep it rolling Coming up next, man, we got Terminator Genesis. I haven't seen this last Terminator yet, so I can't wait for that to come to 4K pretty soon, but Terminator Genesis it is. That was another one I picked up just for the visuals. This one coming up next surprised me. We don't have a lot of horror in the uh, 4K format, but we got Jigsaw. This one surprised me. It turned out to be pretty good. I actually like that one. Ooh, this next movie here. 
we just gonna we just gonna suicide squad i don't even want to get into it and this one right here a lot of hype behind it a lot of people loved it i thought it was pretty mediocre but we got wonder woman man we're coming to the end of this first shelf we got three more shelves to go but coming up next man we got hannibal love that franchise i would love to get silence of the lambs on 4k and coming up next is amazon's big uh debacle with my slip cover and it was pretty horrible y'all can see it rambo first blood part two if you've seen the video before you heard the story about the slip cover completely garbage we got more transformers you guys transformers dark at the moon another fast and the furious fast and furious eight it's almost time for them to stop that franchise it's getting out of control another backlog title the greatest showman i really just wanted this because i love uh like lions tigers big cats so i thought it might be pretty good and nice visuals Whew, that's shelf one let's transition to shelf two we'll be right back all right shelf number two let's get it going man uh this next one liam neeson y'all already know what you get with his films him and jason statham seem like just all their movies are always the same but we got the commuter man up next another animated film the lego movie you can't go wrong with these animated films with the hdr Another reference quality film coming up next, Everest. If you ain't got this in the, your collection, definitely get it, man. Those snow-capped mountains look really, really good. Another backlog, backlog title, man. This actor right here, T Taylor Klitsch. I remember at one point he was on top of the world, and then he just straight tumbled. I forgot what movie that was that he played in that just did absolutely horrible. It was supposed to kind of look like Avatar. Uh, ne up next, for Cabin in the Woods. Uh, this was just one of those buys. I got it for a real good price. Not the biggest fan of the movie. Thought it was okay, though. All right, coming up next, man, another sci-fi. You got Tom Cruise. You got Morgan Freeman. You got Oblivion. Um, a lot of hit and miss with this uh, transfer. Some shots look really good. Some don't. Uh, I, don't I don't know. Coming up next, I couldn't wait to see this movie. I was so glad. They, they did it right with this one. You got the Blu-ray 3D, the 4K, the Blu-ray, and a digital code all stuffed into one package man you got alita battle angel i absolutely love this film really really good and that transfer came out really good as well up next this movie kind of surprised me uh i think i picked this up for a really good price as well because when you bundle on this app that i use with the seller once you buy more he'll he's more prone to give you a better price so picked up robin hood these next couple titles man great for 4k reference quality films to throw on just great films all around but coming up next man crim de la crim the dark knight how can you not have this in your collection might as well keep it rolling with the dark knight dark knight rises why not keep it rolling with christopher nolan films you can't go wrong imax formats we got inception Coming up next, another creme de la creme of 4K reference quality films that you must have in your collection. If you've seen my top five must-have reference quality films, you definitely saw this one in there. Pacific Rim. Even part two looked good. Uh, I'm not going not gonna to hold you on that. Part two looked good, but part one, whoo. Love this film here. The Town, Ben Affleck, uh, one of my favorite actors, favorite directors as well. These next two films are Luke Beeson films, so might as well show them to you together at the same time. We can knock that out the part. We got Leon the Professional and The Fifth Element. Can't go wrong with those two. Coming up next, one of my all-time favorites that I used to watch in middle school almost every morning before I got up to school, man. Absolutely love this. Starship Troopers. What up next? For all you Harry Potter fans, I'm not a fan, but got it in the collection anyway fantastic beasts and where to find them more transformers re related uh films we got bumblebee this one really surprised me at first i didn't think it was gonna be that good but it actually turned out to be a really fun film this next one absolutely garbage but the visuals turned out to be pretty good we got the predator no one stopped me from buying this shame on you 4k fam y'all didn't tell me don't buy that movie up next we got snow white and the huntsman it goes another uh movie i picked up for one of the kids pitch perfect three have not watched that now i've seen pitch perfect one another all-time favorite as a kid ninja turtles out of the shadows can't go wrong with that one that was a really fun film 
Then we got War for the Planet of the Apes. Great title. Shout out to a subscriber for buying this for me. Uh, Mr. Never Pay Retail picked this up for me. We got Us. Not as good as Get Out, but it, it was dope. Up next, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I actually need to get the other Jurassic Park collection just to, you know, fulfill that collection. Oh man, one of the movies of the year last year. If you ain't got this with the IMAX scenes, oh my God, this movie was ridiculous. We got Mission Impossible Fallout. Coming up next, Marvel Studios, Black Panther. See, this is what I was talking about, man. I, I, I can't do all, it's too much going on. I don't need a picture of every character in the movie on my slip. -up. Just give me the main one or two. Just give me uh, Black Panther and, um, oh boy. Coming up next, The Great Wall. Whoo, your boy's getting tired of talking. Absolutely love this film. Another uh, 4K uh, reference quality film. The Shallows. Absolutely love this lenticular cover. I believe I picked this up from Target, I want to say. That's who had this one. Another surprise. X-Men Dark Phoenix. May not be. It's, I'd say it's better than uh, Apocalypse. I'll definitely say that. Apocalypse is not the best, but this one coming up right here. This next box set. <laughs> Deadpool. I would love to see Deadpool Spider-Man or Deadpool X-Men in the same movie. Let's keep it, uh, might as well keep it comic book related. We got The Punisher. Absolutely love this film. I like it way better than the other one. More comic book stuff coming up. We got Marvel's The Avengers. It's what's really set off the whole, uh, universe coming up next man more christopher nolan films more batman batman begins y'all knew that was coming up because we already ran through the other ones of course you gotta have all three and coming up next man absolutely love this war film i know a lot of people did not like it because of the way they showed the story with land sea and air but i absolutely loved it i loved the silent moments it was very gripping and intense and I cannot wait for 1917. I've got to see that. If anybody in the comment section has seen Midway, please let me know how that is because I want to see that as well. Let's keep up with the war uh, films, man. We got The Patriot. Um, I actually feel like I kind of wasted my time on this one. This was not really what I wanted. I should have got Braveheart. I think Braveheart came out at the same time. I don't know why I picked that up. I think I got a little bit confused while I was in the store because I think I picked up that and something else. Anyway, let's keep it rolling, man. Action. Mission Impossible 2. I think this... Now, Fallout is my favorite now, but I will say this is my second favorite. A lot of controversy with this next one. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I love the transfer. Yes, there's a little bit too much red on the skin tones and everything like that, but I love how sharp and clear this picture looks. A lot of people hate it, but if you ain't got it, man, I'm sure everybody got it by now because you can find it as low as like $7 brand new. Woo! Keep it rolling. We almost at the end of shelf number two, but another reference quality 4K release, man. It's Lone Survivor. I absolutely love this film as well. If you ain't got it in your collection, definitely head to your local store and pick it up. Up next, I Am Legend, Will Smith. Really good film. Then we got The Mummy. Tom Moore, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise be everywhere. The Incredible Hulk is up next. And then something else I just, I don't think they could have did better, but we got Venom. I mean, it was okay. It was cool. Nothing too spectacular. Cool, let's round out this last little shelf number two, but we got uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. Thought that was a really good film. I love the uh, Mysterio scenes and some of the, those greens popping up. That looked really good. Then we got It. Absolutely love part one. Part two was cool. Part one was way better. Uh, I know a lot of people were really uh, disappointed with this um, 4K transfer, but it is a uh, catalog title. We got Die Hard. Yes, it is a Christmas movie. Uh, one of my favorite films of 2019, we got Bright Burn. Absolutely love this movie. It was pretty good. I know the pacing in the story was a little uh, convoluted and all, but I thought it was pretty good. This next one, not too big of a fan of, but everybody else probably has it in their top three 4K films, but Blade Runner 2049, man. I mean, it was it was okay. It wasn't nothing great to me. And then next we got the return of classic horror. We got Halloween. I absolutely, I liked it. Can't wait for Halloween Kills. I, that title kind of is really weird. 
Then up next, we got DC's Man of Steel. I loved Man of Steel. I know a lot of people hated it, but still have not watched this 4K transfer. I don't expect it to be leaps and bounds over the Blu-ray, but since I love the film, it made sense to go ahead and upgrade to 4K. That's the end of shelf number two, intermission time. Hold your seat. All right, you guys, so we are halfway through the video. This is shelf number three, and y'all are absolutely gonna love this because I know there's a lot of still book collectors, and this one contains most of my still book films. And then you will notice that a lot of them are non-slip cover films, but nonetheless, man, let's get into it. This first film was bought by another subscriber of mine, so shout out to him. Forgot who it was, but nonetheless, man, we got Westworld. I believe this is, yes, the first, no, yeah, this is season one, The Maze. Absolutely love season one. Season two got a little bit wonky, um, but nonetheless, man, that was a great pickup. I love that tin case. Coming up next, another great movie. We got Split. Here comes a classic catalog title that you should already have in your collection. I should have got the collector set, but I didn't. Maybe one day I'll still pick it up, but we got Scarface, the gold edition. How many times can you buy this movie with different uh, formats? Coming up next, man, we got one of my, probably my second or third favorite uh, Marvel film, Captain America, The Winter Soldier still book case. I know y'all love them still books. Ooh, look at it, still books. Might as well keep the still book train rolling, man. We got Doctor Strange. Y'all have noticed most of my still books are comic book related. Then we got Laura Crafts Tomb Raider, Angelina Jolie, cannot go wrong. I swear they still need to put Bone Collector on the 4K format. Coming up next, um, I'm kind of upset that I bought this. I know a lot of people say they absolutely love the 4K transfer on this, but I thought it was kind of a little bit mediocre, but sound was good. But we got Waterworld and that Schmeet. Who wants a can of that Schmeet? Y'all let me know in the comment section, did y'all like that transfer? Because I really didn't. Coming up next, man, another still book, Spider-Man Homecoming. Shout out to the homie Blu-ray Rich, man. That dude loves himself some Spider-Man. Huh? Uh, this, this ain't getting, I don't know how this got over there, but Days of Future Past, that's not even 4K. Uh, that's the actual Blu-ray uh, still book case. Coming up next, Thor Ragnarok still book. Absolutely love this. That black and red looks really, really good with with Thor slamming down the, uh, the, the swords. Up next, we got Silver War, 4K Steelbook. Whew, Steelbooks just keep coming, man. What's this one? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2, that opening sequence. If you ain't got this, especially for an OLED TV, ooh, I know it looks so good. I need to get myself an OLED TV. Stop, just, just save up for it or something. I gotta figure out a way. And this next one is probably still number one on everybody's all time so far favorite film for 4K. We got The Revenant, man. That I don't think this picture quality is ever gonna get like to where people feel like, uh, it don't look as good anymore. Another guilty pleasure of mine, Mila Jovovich, uh, Resident Evil, the final chapter. American Made, more Tom Cruise. Can't have enough Tom Cruise movie. Top Gun is coming on 4K format this year. Amazing Spider-Man 2. I actually like Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. I haven't had a problem with anybody's uh, rendition of Spider-Man. Up next, like I said, man, Jason Statham, all his movies seem the same. We got Mechanic Resurrection. And we got Kingsman The Secret Service, another fun film. Don't know why I bought this, but I got Warcraft. I mean, I don't know. I think it was just for a really good price. Uh, we got the all-female cast of Ocean's 8. Not too bad of a movie, but definitely not as good as the other Ocean's films. Absolutely love this film. We got Baby Driver. And we got Godzilla King of Monsters. Really, really good audio on that one. Another catalog title, Casino. Man, absolutely love Casino. Would love to get Heat and uh, some other uh, films. We got The Matrix Reloaded. Keanu Reeves bringing us a Matrix and a John Wick at the same time. Man, that's crazy. Then we got Glass, Dread, Atomic Blonde, and whoo, whoo, look at all these hits. Killing them. Let's keep still books rolling. Avengers Age of Ultron. Not the best transfer on that one, but we got it anyway. Here comes another horror film. We got The Evil Dead. 
Uh, another one of those films that's still wrapped up. Actually kind of bought it for my wife. I thought it might be something she wanted to watch. We got the three billboards of Ebling, uh, Missouri. Another classic title that I used to watch every day. This is one of them films, man. I told y'all the story. Shout out Briscoe 5540. I think this is the first film I went to go see with him and his dad. We went to the midnight release of it. You know, uh, Will Smith used to be the king of uh, 4th of July. This film came out. People was jumping over seats when they got when they let us in the theater. But we got Independence Day. Love that film. More Will Smith. We got Hancock. Then we got some martial arts. Uh, I don't really know why I bought this. I thought I absolutely, I thought I liked this movie a lot, but I thought it would be pretty good. I wanted some martial arts, but you missed me with that one at this point. I wouldn't say go out and cop it if you ain't got it. Then we got The Magnificent Seven. That was a pretty fun film. Talked about this next film a little while ago and how it wasn't that great, but we got X-Men Apocalypse, but you know, the uh, transfer was pretty decent. Still have not watched this one. We got the uh, live film adaptation of The Lion King. Woo. Classic horror. Halloween. The night it all started. Fun film. Uh, nice little uh, kind of like, could you call this a biopic? I guess. Patriot's Day. And one of my favorite movies. Yay. Avengers Infinity War. Way better than Endgame. That killed Endgame. One of my favorite franchises up next. I cannot wait. Uh, I think it's another week or two till the next movie comes out. But we got the Bad Boys 1 and 2 still book collection. I don't think 3 is going to be all that. I think it'll be a decent watch, though. Then we got more Tom Cruise. Jack Reacher never back down. More war films and another still book for you still book junkies. We got Black Hawk Down. Uh, I think they could have did better with the art on this. It was okay. More still books for you, Justice League. I actually like this one. I wish they, I wish this would have been in Bose. That would have been a nice little touch. All right, so coming up, man, we last little stack on shelf number three. We are almost finished with this video. Uh, another 4K reference quality coming up for the next two to three films. We got The Martian, the extended cut. You gotta get that extended cut. Nothing like the extended cut. Coming up next, Passengers. Really, really good 4K transfer on that one. One of the creme de la cremes that you can just throw on. If you're going to have company over, you know, like this would have been great around Thanksgiving or something just to have on your TV when all your company comes over. But we got Planet Earth Part 2. Um, you know, it's just something for everybody. Who doesn't like to watch uh, animals? And one of my favorites, Peanuts Movie. Gotta love Charlie Brown and Snoopy. More sci-fi, we got Prometheus. I know a lot of the uh, the Alien um, fans really didn't care too much for Prometheus. I thought it was pretty good. For you Trekkies, we got uh, Star Trek Beyond. Deepwater Horizon coming up next. Here goes another sus uh, subscriber told me I should pick up a Brawl on Cell Block 99. Eh, kind of fell asleep on it. Uh, this is one for my baby. She actually loves this film, wants to watch it about every day. Trolls. I think she just likes to hear it. I don't kind of like I do play a movie just while I'm doing something. And coming up next, more of that guilty pleasure, the Smurfs Part 2. Three shelves down. One more to go. Let's go. All right, 4K fam, let's go ahead and round this thing out. You'll see some more. You guys will notice a lot of this is more current pickups and some more still books are littered throughout. But nonetheless, let's get into it, man. We got Pet Cemetery. Can't go wrong with that one. Nice little classic. Coming up next, we got Batman Forever. Y'all yeah, tell I love Batman. More Russell Crowe. We got Robin Hood. Here comes a nice little still book. I thought this movie was going to be better than what it was, but we got the Meg. More still books coming up. We got the 40th anniversary still book of Alien. I love this still book. That, ooh, that nice green popping off of that gray and black. Really, really nice touch on that one. Then coming up next, a little disappointed in this film. I know everybody else loved it, but we got the Avengers Endgame still book. Y'all should have already seen my nice little rant I had on that. This movie here, I kind of couldn't wait for it to come out on video, but uh, I was a little underwhelmed by it. But we got Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. I know there's another part coming out, so we'll see how that goes. 
Here comes a nice little favorite of mine that I still ain't opened. Had it since day one. Can't believe it. John Wick 3 Parabellum. Man, I love this. If y'all seen the last video, I tried to ask y'all which movie had the better kill shots, Rambo, Last Blood, or John Wick 3. So you guys can continue to let me know in the comment section. It seems like most people are kind of leaning a little towards John Wick. I get it. War film. We got Apocalypse Now. Nice little case, $9.99. Glad I waited on that one. And then this film right here, whoo, boy, oh boy. Classic, Batman 1989. Very, very good transfer. Overhaul on the audio and the picture came out really, really good. All right, let's get into this next little handful, man. We got today's actual pickup. We got Joaquin Phoenix and Robert De Niro with the Joker. I thought this movie was okay. I think people got engulfed it engulfed into Joaquin's portrayal of the Joker. They loved his performance and really didn't pay the movie a lot of attention. He did really good as a Joker, but I think overall, entire movie taking out his performance as a Joker, I thought the movie was okay. I was waiting on a lot of his antics to come through with the robbing, killing, uh, assaults, and stuff like that to happen. Really didn't get it. It was few and far between throughout the movie, but most of it came towards the end. The ending was, ending was fire. Love the ending. Can't wait to see what else they do with it, but Overall, as a movie, maybe 7.5 or 8, but his performance, a 9. But here goes another movie I just talked about, Rambo Last Blood. Was not the best script ever. It was kind of more of just a send-off for Sylvester Stallone as Rambo. So I think they did a pretty decent job there, but far as script and just movie overall, not very good. But the kill scenes were really good. And for more of you Star Wars fans, we got Star Wars The Last Jedi. I know people absolutely hated that one. Now this film here, the picture quality is really, really good, but I can kind of care less about the movie, but you got Pineapple Express. More Tom Cruise, man, I need to do a Tom Cruise stack. Mission Impossible 4. Still haven't watched this one, wanted in the collection. We got Overlord. Still haven't watched this one, but wanted in the collection. Boy, that uh, backlog is just growing. We got Bad Times at the El Royale. And there's still some films that I really wanted in the collection I ain't picked up. Let's keep it rolling, man. Y'all know I've been waiting a long time to pick this up again, man. Max Fury Road. Still haven't watched this. Can't wait to pop it open. Probably tonight or tomorrow. We got Life. Still Books. Iron Man Collection. Iron Man Part 1. Iron Man Part 2. Guardians of the Galaxy. Hi, y'all thought uh, Iron Man 3 was coming up next, but listen to this. Can y'all hear that? I hate when it sounds like disc or loose inside your case. But nonetheless, man, Iron Man 3, there it go. I know y'all was waiting on it. <laughs> it Chapter 2, can't go wrong with that one. Another collector set, Predator 3 movie collection, man. Absolutely loved all three of those. But like I said, the Predator, burn it. All right, let's round it out, man. We almost finished. We got Star Trek Into Darkness. Y'all can see a lot of this stack is still wrapped up. Rambo First Blood. Another subscriber uh, view video. Murder on the Orient Express. Very good transfer, though. Life of Pi. Love the uh, art on this one. The Matrix. Love that green and black. It's really nice with the bent spoon. And we got Get Out. Matrix Revolution coming down to the last two. This transfer here looked really good, but I did not like the movie at all. We got Aquaman, nice little steel book. Then to round it out, last movie of the collection, man. The Incredibles Part 2. You guys, I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long for the entire collection video, but as y'all can see, this video ran pretty long. I tried to go through as quickly as possible without just getting into the uh meat of the movie why i bought it and things like that but i finally gave you guys what you've been wanting you guys let me know what other type of videos you want leave that down in the comment section if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button so we can get this video out to the masses in the bluetooth community make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when new videos come up and as always head on over instagram i am your boy 4kd ray it's been another great video love spending time with the 4k fam y'all know the motto man we gone
Thank you.